So when it comes to taking action, let's say you had somebody in front of you yeah. and you could be their coach, you could be their life coach. Um, what are some of your fundamental blocks that you would say like, okay, these are things in your life that you need to get in line mm. to kind of build that castle? Yeah. I mean, um, a lot of that starts with confidence. Honestly, it's, it's something that is often undervalued and underrated. And on, conversely, it's something that people generally don't know how to cultivate, you know, it's something that people don't think about cultivating. Um, so it, it starts there because if you can, if you can have a belief in self, if you can have a belief in yourself, you can, you can accomplish uh, like unbelievable things, you know, but if you don't believe in yourself, there's always that doubt. There's always that like sensation of, I can't do this or can I do this? And so it really starts with self-belief or confidence, whatever you'd like to call that. And what that requires is understanding what are, what is holding you back? Like, where are the areas of yourself that you don't believe in you? And that, that can be tough. So normally when I'm working with people, that's kind of where I start is like, what are the areas that you really struggle with? Is it work? Is it relationships? Is it, you know, your sexual performance? Is it, um, you know, your ability to public speak? Like, what are the things that you really feel like you don't believe in yourself in that you really want to, right? Mm. And, and then diving into that and being honest and truthful about it and then putting processes in place for them to actually build confidence in that area slowly. Because I think the, the funny thing is, is that our society is so tuned for instant gratification mm. that we feel like we should build confidence like that. You know, like confidence should, I should just wake up and have, yeah. and have a, a fundamental deep belief in myself. And, and it's ludicrous. That mm. takes, that takes years. Yeah. It takes years. And, and who knows what kind of programming that person has been subject to uh, from whatever sources in their life, right? We have so many negative uh, sources of input coming at us all the time. So, mm. and that stuff imprints on you. So to think you're going to wake up one day and be like, I'm going to be confident. Well, you might be superficially confident for 10 minutes, mm. you know, but then that, you know, those insecurities, whatever's deep inside are going to come up. And I think you're so right about that confidence piece. I think it's uh, such an important one. And it's, I, I don't know, when I was in school, I didn't learn anything about that. Mm. No one taught us how to be a confident human being, you know, you know, we taught, we were taught kind of the building blocks of math and English and whatever else. Right. But we're not really taught how to like be happy in our lives, mm. you know, be happy in that way, be successful in that way. Mm. Yeah. Behavioral um, traits. Behavioral, you know, yeah. yeah. Emotional intelligence. Totally. Totally. It's kind of funny that we're not taught life skills, right? Like basic mm. life skills. And I mean,